that's how awesome these things are at filtering stuff out. If you constantly battle that stuff, this is gonna be a lifesaver. So I don't know what you're waiting for. Head on over to Reliance Antenna. Hey everybody, I'm Eric, N1JUR. Today I am at uh, Castle Neck River uh, Wildlife Management. I think it's 11778. And uh, it is a beautiful park. I mean, obviously I've got some road traffic just off to the side of me, but that's actually gonna be an interesting uh, uh, assistance and help with today's test because we're going to dive into using uh, Reliance Antennas, uh, Reliance uh, one to one RF choke. These are always great uh, to have in your antenna bag and have with every kit you got. We all deal with common mode uh, issues or you know interference uh, from uh, stuff around us and these things work great. So we're gonna run them through test. I have uh, both the mini version, which is the 100 watt version, and uh, the larger one, uh, which is the uh, 200 watt version. And we're gonna put these to a test. And at the same time, we're also gonna be pairing those with the Reliance Antenna 56 to one here, which I'm gonna do a different review uh, in the future with this antenna. You've probably seen uh, reviews from folks like Mike and others. Uh, and this one's paired up with one of my favorite wires here. This is the Stealth 26 gauge uh, yellow wire. And uh, if we take a look at the setup over here, I am tying that to mast, which is standing nice and proud in the wind here. And let's go over and take a look at that real quick. I'm running my hitch mount here, tied into my DX Commander 10 meter mast here. into what we're gonna to test today. So I've got two chokes from Reliance. Uh, the first one is his uh, mini version, uh, or he's referred to this as a small. Um, it is in a BNC version, uh, female. I always forget the male or female. You know, it's this obviously end here. Uh, forgive me if I forget which one it is. Uh, and this actually has a rating of about uh, 100 watts uh, sideband and 60 watts digital CW. Uh, so these are always great uh, for having in uh, your bag, uh, you know, especially if you do QRP uh, and even regular, uh, there's nothing uh, wrong with that. But if you definitely want to run a little bit more power and you want to, you know, do that both on the digital and CW side, then you definitely want to step up to uh, the larger model. This one handles about 250 watts and about 100 watts uh, digital CW. And it comes in two flavors. It comes with the SO239Ns um, and uh, the BNC uh, female ends as well. Um, the other thing too is Matt is also working on uh, an interesting uh, add-on. I'm hoping uh, he'll have more of these in the store if he hasn't already, uh, are the uh, RF caps. Um, these things are great, you know, especially if you want to protect your BNC ends uh, from that. And so I would strongly suggest if he's got them in the store to head on over to, uh, and pick those up uh, as a, a, an add-on to uh, the chokes themselves, just to protect the ends and uh, keep dust and dirt out of them. Um, so I've got this all, I'm gonna get this hooked up to my radio here. We're gonna run the large one-to-one -one here. We're gonna start on 20 uh, and see what we can get for, um, you know, some contacts here. And uh, these are Matt's uh, version two. So these have a toroid in there, I think type 30. It can cover everything from one to 50 megahertz without uh, any problem whatsoever. Self uh, a couple of these for all your poda bags, especially if you're not running coax uh, with an inline choke on it to get rid of common mode. We're gonna get this hooked up and uh, let's get going. What, what luck. And you never guess who's on uh, the bands here. The good old Grouch is sitting on uh, 14271. Let's see if we can pick him up. All right, uh, number one, Oscar Golf and Delta 9. Yankee, you're with the park on here to our desk. Park to park, park to park. Yeah, park to park, go ahead. Well, this is a nice uh, treat here. Uh, this is November 1, Japan United Radio, park to park. Uh, 
Shall we roll on? Uh, what's, uh, what's your part number? Well, this is November 1. Just use your radio. How's that for phonetics, my friend? Uh, park number here is uh, US 11587. Uh, and uh, doing a little, uh, you know, test here with uh, Matt's uh, Reliance uh, RF chokes here. So uh, got you on video, my friend. How, how are you guys? Hey, we're, uh, we're not doing too bad. Uh... Uh, we got 18 QSOs in the last hour. Uh, a little bit slow, slow going uh, initially. It's a lot of USB, uh, a lot of fading. Uh, I did manage to get the uh, AC5 HWB. Uh, it was uh, over in Arizona today, I guess. Wow. Uh, so that was kind of cool. But uh, yeah, you're, you're coming. Uh, you're coming into the park, okay? Uh, about a five-five, five-five, okay? Uh oh, what was that word? Uh, what word? To what? Oh, uh, well, that's kind of a bummer. I'm using Matt's Reliance 56 to 1 here. You know, you think it'd be, uh, you know, a nice, strong, at least 5.8. Come on, man. I know you're you're a little stingy on, the, you know, the signal reports there, but you're coming in a nice uh, 5.8 here uh, into this park. And, uh, yeah, it's good to get you. Is, uh, are you with somebody? Yeah, with, uh, with Brent. Uh, hello. Yes, Sage, you're on, damn call time. You know, Delta 9. Sierra Witch. All right, yeah, well, you, you're the only one spotting uh, yourself there on the spotting page, my friend. So you might want to add his call in there and you might get a few more people, but uh, I got to hear you guys both in the log. Good to hear you guys as well. Uh, and, uh, you know, put it on. Roger, Roger. Well, we'll catch you a little later and uh, thanks for picking me up. Uh, seven three. Seven three, buddy, I'll, I'll talk to you. Uh, this is November 1, Oscar Golf, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Oh, there you go. There's the Grouch, and he's with Chris. Uh, so, good on that. Uh, so let's keep going up the bands here. And that, that was really good. I, I like RF chokes, man. They, they might, oh, he's going last call. Uh, they might be, uh, you know, magical, but for sure they're definitely cleaning up a lot of extra noise that uh, might be around me. With uh, all Reliance products, you are always going to get uh, exactly what you pay for. A great quality antenna made by hand, tested and confirmed out in the field every time. And you can get them in many different flavors, uh, off center fed and fed, you know, linked dipole. Or if you got a custom configuration, you know, Matt over at Reliance will always uh, be available to uh, put together something uh, if you're looking for a unique uh, antenna or a unique setup. But his website at reliance.com for the RF chokes or any of his antennas, just use coupon code uh, N1JUR checkout and you'll get 10% uh, off. Make sure you check out uh, Reliance Antenna, support uh, a great business. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda. This is N1JUR, November 1, Juliet and Yai Radio at US uh, 11587 in Massachusetts, calling CQ Parks on the air and listening. Whiskey, eight kilo, sugar, Charlie. Whiskey 8, sh Kilo, Sugar, Charlie, nice 5-9 here into 11587. I need your call sign, I kind of got it screwed up. Yeah, no problem, sir. I had to QSY from where I was before if you were trying to reach me. The call sign is November 1, Juliet, Uniform Radio, N1JUR, QSL. Number 1, Julie, okay, N1JUR, thank you very much, WHKSC, and thank you for activating. No problem, sir. Appreciate you chasing us down and finding us and hunting. And thanks again for the contact in 7-3. This is N1JUR, QRZ. 3, Foxtrot Mike Charlie, 5-9 into 11587. Hey, good afternoon. Got 5-5, five, five, double nickel into Papa Alpha, Philadelphia. Roger, roger. Philadelphia, thanks again for hunting us. Appreciate it. And uh, thanks again for the contact in 7-3. Seven, 7-3. Three. Seven, three. This is N1JUR, QRZ. All right, I got an Alpha Charlie 3 November again. The Alpha Charlie 3 November again, again. The Alpha Charlie 3 November Juliet, November Juliet. All right, Jason, uh, Alpha Charlie 3 November Juliet. Got you a 5-7 here into 11587. All right, I got you a 5-5 five, five when, uh, when I'm not having a lot of QSC. 
Yeah, roger, 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 roger. Yeah, a little bit here and there. It kind of comes and goes where I'm at, but uh, definitely got you nice and loud and good signal there. Uh, thanks again for uh, hunting in 7-3. This is N1JUR QRZ. I, I can tell you that a lot of the interference that I normally hear from vehicles going by with uh, alternator uh, or um, you know fuel pumps that are really noisy or RF wise, I have not heard any whatsoever. Um, I even you know uh, off camera had to start up the truck real quick just to see if I'd pick up any RF uh, noise from my truck because I have a Ram and if you've watched my other videos, so as you can tell. That's the audio I get from the truck. So I'm gonna have to spend some. Do you know that um, you know that can generate a lot of noise and end up having to use like the noise blanker and uh, DSP to be able to uh, you know cut down uh, any of that uh, you know fuel pump and alternator. Well, actually, it's more just fuel pump noise. So uh, yeah, so far so good. I'm pretty impressed with these things. I again, I love. Matt's designs, the fact that they're, you know, waterproof and in good solid cases, so they'll take a beating. Um, and that he comes in, uh, you know, different uh, BNC and uh, SO239 ends. Um, so that is always uh, a plus and definitely uh, worth having in your kit. Hopefully the review of this uh, RF one to one choke by Reliance Antennas was helpful. And make sure you head over to his website. And as always, thanks again for watching. 7.3 and POTA on.